టైం నా ఇయర్ ఫోన్స్ తీసుకున్నావా ఓకే ఐ యామ్ గోయింగ్ టు మ్యూట్ ఎవరీబడి అండ్ ఎక్స్ ఓకే ఫర్ నౌ ఎక్సెప్ట్ భాగవ్ అండ్ మీ అండ్ ద ఫస్ట్ మినిట్ రైట్ నౌ ఐ యామ్ గోయింగ్ టు వి ఆల్ విల్ కనెక్ట్ silence no and observe one minute of total silence and let me start my timer <laughs> okay so those who joined late we were observing one minute of silence so we connected but uh, we cannot now go back and observe one more minute so let's begin and welcome everybody and i think people are still joining so we will keep letting them in but i will have to keep opening door for them so uh my name is sonal and many of you who are affiliated with vision it may already know me uh i am located in cambridge massachusetts in usa and i am a volunteer mentor at vision it and i am a lifelong learner on moocs and have been involved in teaching in various capacity since last 30 years uh and on moocs everyone is a learner as well as a teacher on moocs you will get chance to interact with others and share something or uh, teach something to others so it is always a two role for you when you are taking a class on moocs and we are going to cover more in detail in this workshop so now with me bhargav is the one who is going to be in the driver seat for the navigation uh, workshop and so now bhargav can introduce himself bhargav go ahead hi everyone uh, myself bhargav and uh, currently i am uh, based out in, from bangalore and uh, uh, i have i was the first uh, student in the visionet python program uh, which uh, which started on 2016 uh, sometime and uh, after that uh, i have been taking uh, uh, courses on various mooc and uh, i've been uh, reporting to mooc cor- corresponding team for accessibility issue and uh, we have found a couple of uh, classes which is accessible and so we are going to introduce one of the class today uh, which uh, many of the students are taking and uh, yeah so and uh, before we kick start uh, thanks everyone for joining and uh, yeah uh, we have uh, why we are uh, purpose uh, sonu ma'am is going to uh, talk about and then after that we have uh, a navigation on the move and then we have uh, your introduction and question answer at the end so i am going to give control to sonal uh, who will uh, okay, uh, 
Okay. Next. Thank you, Bhargav. And it seems you have some taxi noise in the background. So. <laughs> yeah, you can you can mute myself. Okay, I will mute you too. Okay, so okay, I'll continue. Uh, okay, so I'm the only one talking now, and uh, so so why are we doing this workshop? The world of learning is changing. A lot of new innovations have come out to make online learning available to everyone. Okay, and now it is possible to learn anything online. Anything, I mean anything means science, math, business, finance, languages, computer programming, yoga, exercise, uh, law, meditation, weight loss, finance, anything you name, you want to learn, you can learn it online, okay? So Bhargav, would you like to add something here? Uh, I will unmute you. Yeah. Yeah, so as Sonal says, the way of learning, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah, okay. So as Sonal mentioned that uh, the way of learning is now changing. And uh, if we see like, uh, if visually impaired, anybody wants to learn something uh, different, in a sense, like uh, they want to upgrade uh, uh, any new skill, let's say programming and uh, even other things also accessibility and stuff like that so like it's difficult to get the training at the uh, through uh, any of the institute and uh, so like we have so we whatever we have found uh, the courses so we just wanted to share you so that uh, Many of you would be benefit workshop. And now uh, Sonal is going to come. Okay. Uh, so various I'm... classes. Yeah. Okay. So let me at least say something before Bhargav take full control of this. So where we can learn all this? I said online we can learn. So now the most latest trend is this, that there are online platforms available where you can take online courses okay now what are these platform these platforms are called MOOC platforms so these are kind of invisible platforms you can imagine invisible university online universities in cloud and where these are called MOOC platforms and these MOOC platforms uh, MOOC, MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Course. So Massive means people from all around the world, thousands of people can take classes on these platforms. So these are the huge invisible universities in cloud where thousands of people from all around the world can take classes. Now open, means uh, the registration to this online platform is totally free and many, many classes offer completely free content or some classes, courses have partially free content. Okay, we will cover all this later. Now, so these are about uh, MOOC platforms and you, many of you, may have heard of some of these MOOC platforms and some of you I know have even taken courses on this platform. So if I can remind you, some of these popular MOOC platforms are EDX, Coursera, Udacity, Udemy, Khan Academy, Future Learn, Open Education, Canvas, the Open University and so on. Okay, so on this platform, full courses are offered by the world's best universities and companies. Okay, so you can take a full course uh, on these platform. 
So before taking a course, you have to first register on any of these MOOC platform. The registration, registration over all these MOOC platform is not common. So for each platform, you have to register individually, but you have to register only once. So once you register, you have access to all of their courses, at least for exploration. Now, this, what is this registration process look like? Now, this registration is just like creating your Facebook or Google account, okay? So it's that easy as long as you have internet access and also an email, access, email ID, you can create an account and you can create this account even using your mobile devices. But some of the courses, it's not possible to take using just the mobile devices. So we'll see that later. So in fact, some MOOC platforms uh, allows you to register using your existing Facebook or Google account. So you don't even have to uh, create a special account using your uh, um, email you can use the same email that you have for Facebook or Google account. So, so once you have account on a MOOC platform, you can choose any course that you like to explore first. So once uh, many of these MOOC platforms are becoming more and more accessible and one or two that uh, the one we will talk about is pretty accessible, okay? Uh, with the, when I say accessible, I mean accessible for the screen reader users, okay? So now you can explore, once you join and register a MOOC platform, you can explore as many courses as you wish to. You can explore and many courses uh, provide a lot of free content, you no? Know? For that, you don't have to pay and you can use that content to learn, okay? Now for access to the full course, including all the problem sets, grading, and also the certification at the end, you may have to, you may be required to pay a fees and which varies from course to course, from platform to platform and from program to program. Now on this, these type of certifications are there are variety of different credentials on MOOCs, like uh, many ways you can earn these credentials. So the simplest way to earn a credential, you complete a course and you get a certificate for which you may have to pay or sometimes you can even apply for financial aid if you cannot afford to pay the fees. Now, the, there are also uh, specialization, like a collection of courses that you can take and on a certificate that you are now expert in this particular field, okay? Now, there are micro masters where you can complete partially part of a master's degree online on MOOCs and then apply to the university to complete your master's. So this is kind of a partial master's degree online, which are called micro masters. Then now the most latest trend is the full master's degree online. But uh, we have to be very careful because we don't have any data saying that a blind person using a screen reader has yet completed a full master's degree on a MOOC. But things are changing and as we can build one course at a time, you take the course and finish it and let the world know you can do more and go and take more and see. So one day, one of you and one of you whom you will inspire may be able to finish a master's degree or who knows. So that's the day we will, we will wait for but uh, now I think I've done enough of talking. So let's uh, give full control to Bhargav again. And he's going to take you on a tour to one of these MOOC platform. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time. So we may not be able to take you to multiple MOOC platforms. So we are going to use the MOOC platform 
uh, called Coursera. And he is going to show you how you join this platform and then how to take a class on this platform. So Bhargav, you are in charge now. I'm going to unmute you. Okay. Yeah, just to give me one minute uh, so that I can have screen reader voice on. Okay, so Bhargav is going to share his screen reader. After that, if I want to stop Bhargav, I'm going to use this sound, okay? Because, and, okay, so Bhargav is getting ready to turn on his screen reader. Annotation content render window. Zoom dash free account closer with our online closer with our online. I hope uh, everyone should be able to hear my screen to their voice. Menu button, sub yeah, menu, explore our catalog. Okay, I, yeah. I can hear yeah. and everybody else is silent. So I'm assuming everybody is able to hear too. Oh, sure. Awesome. So today we are going to uh, use the Coursera platform. And uh, many of the Vision Edge students are taking the class uh, for uh, on Coursera and so uh, I have already registered myself so just I'm going to log in now Explore our catalog menu button, uh, menu. Barg uh, Bhargav, you want to show that on this uh, launch page there is also a sign up link you can give yeah yeah I'm going to do that on what copy main landmark join for free button banner landmark explore our catalog menu button some traffic loop copy Menu, menu item for enterprise dot. Menu item login. So first you have menu login item sign up. and then sign up. So uh, who is who doesn't have the account on Coursera and if anybody wants to join the Coursera platform, they can uh, go through this link, sign up. And uh, so right now I'm going to uh, use the login. Okay. Bhargav, you want to see the menu see item the login to this? Uh, uh, this Coursera platform, the URL to go to this platform is Coursera.org and yeah. even to sign up, you can even download a Coursera app on your mobile device and you can even uh, sign up through that. Okay. Okay. Men, menu, menu item login. Login dialog, email edit required, email D-A-R-G-A-V, R-G-A-V, R-G-A-V, one vip one at J-A-I-L, email C-O-M, com, password edit, protect, star, 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 forgot password, question, login button. So, Bhargav, just login. Coursera, our online courses and credentials from top educators, not, join for free, banner landmark, heading level. Bhargav just logged in to his account on Coursera, and... Uh, he did not move uh, the screen reader there, but there there were two choices. You can log in with your email and password, and there was a button there which said log in with your Facebook. So if you, he could have done that too. So we just wanted to add this. Okay, go ahead, Bhargav. Yeah. Okay, so there are various where to go to any of the classes if you have already registered. So after already you have enrolled in any of the class so after login you should be able to find that uh, link main landmark up skill so your team in class active, active heading level three active heading and uh, you can see the screen uh, course name courses are sorted by your last activity dot list with parking has joined the meeting alert List with one items, University of Michigan, yeah. Python for everybody heading right. level two. But uh, right now I'm going through the uh, other, I wanted Out to list. show you the another way where you can get the, all the course, various courses. So here beginning menu, of the page, menu. there is a catalog list. Traffic loop copy. Menu button, and sub menu, uh, explore our catalog. Around this to expand. Okay, so now Bhargav is showing you that menu collapsed, sub -menu link up. I mentioned. Uh, he's showing you how you can explore these courses. So he's currently showing you the whole 
Start menu in Yeah. Okay, so, you can read yeah. all the items so yeah. people know what you can do. link computer science. Collapse sub menu link data science. Collapse sub menu link information technology. Collapse sub menu link life sciences. Collapse sub menu link math and logic. Collapse link personal development. Collapse path of has left. Collapse sub menu link social sciences. Collapse sub menu link language learning. Collapse sub menu link degrees and certificates. Separator yeah, space. So, this many category are uh, available on this particular move. Move platform. Collapse sub menu link no invent and, degrees uh, and certificates. I am going to take the computer science. Collapse, collapse sub menu link social science. Collapse sub menu link physical. Collapse link personal. Collapse sub menu link math. Collapse sub menu link life science. Collapse sub menu link information. Collapse sub menu link data science. Collapse visited sub menu link. Collapse sub menu read me has left. Collapse visited sub menu link computer science. So he's going to computer science courses. Science are courses. Yeah, so now Red from navigation I landmark. One page here, uh, which has re uh, all the re courses related to computer science. Computer science are courses with Google Chrome. So let me navigate through headings and see what are the uh, types of classes available. Computer science heading level one. Software development heading level 2 link. Mobile and web development heading level 2 link. Algorithms heading level 2 link. Computer security and networks heading level 2 link. Earn your degree heading level 3. Master of computer science left paren MCS right paren heading level 4 link. Master of computer science left paren MCS right paren heading level 4 link. Bachelor of science in computer science. So you have master courses. So he first read the entire choice of which are the different topics in computer science that you can take and these were the four or five topics that he read through the screen reader i'm reading that again software development mobile and web development algorithms computer security and networks and design and you know, production uh, productivity something uh, product development or so yeah. and then you can take now he is going on the page where he said variety of uh, courses and programs which are described like many master's degree bachelor's degree and so on go ahead Prago. Okay. Yeah. master of computer and information technology heading level for link most popular certificates heading level on the list we have most popular courses on this MOOC platform. Visited link Python for everybody. And I'm going to select this the first one, which uh, many of the many of you are taking currently. Heading left. Visited link Python for everybody. So Bhargav is going to uh, has chosen one of a very popular class on Coursera, and which many of the current and past students from Vision Aid have taken and have endorsed this class as an accessible, almost accessible class that you can take the class, learn something useful and start learning to program. And it's very easy to learn using this class. Plus it is accessible with screen reader. Okay, so Bhargav is going to show you more. Uh, this is a class from University of Michigan. And um, Bhargav will tell you more. No next table. Zoom Python for everybody. Mark Coursera dash Google Chrome row one. Okay, so now I am on the course, a particular course home page. Heading Python for everybody specialization heading level one. So this is the actually specialization course which has the five different courses. So uh, part and uh, now I am I have opened the first part. What you will learn heading level three. Python for learn to program and analyze data with Python dot. Visualize data dot. Button unavailable enrolled. What you will learn head skills you 100% flexible schedule heading level 4. Beginner level heading level 4. Approx dot. Free English heading level 4. How the specialization works heading. Take courses heading level 2. Hands dash on project. Earn a certificate heading level. There are five Sorry, courses in this specialization heading level 3. Uh, screen that is reading. There are five courses on this particular certificate. Course 1. 
Visited link heading level three programming for everybody left paren. Uh, so this is the specialization, as I said, that this specialization, when you want to take a class in this uh, five part series, uh, you, uh, you can still take uh, just one class at a time and you don't have to pay for the whole entire specialization at a time. And their fee system is different for specialization. When you are doing, you can take a subscription based fees. And if you want to do just one course at a time, you can pay for one course at a time. So all these are, there are many, many different systems and they are also constantly changing and it's different for different MOOC platforms. So you will have to explore. And some of the things that Bhargo is showing, if it is not very clear, at least know that Bhargo is using screen From reader. Management. And wherever he is able to go with the screen reader, you will also be able to go once you start exploring. No, so you will learn by doing. But this is just a taste of it. No, the first taste that you can do it. No, anyone can do it because it's for everybody. And this is an accessible MOOC cl uh, class, but uh, not every class is yet accessible. Okay, so you will have to explore and find out if your favorite class is accessible with screen reader or not. And you can also learn with your friends who may be cited and you can make groups and can learn together and can help each other. So that is also a fun way of learning by helping each other. And so your role keep changing teacher and learner, teacher and learner and mentor and everything. And everyone learn together. Okay, Bhargav, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, I have opened now the part one and, uh, and I should uh, start the course now. Program. Go to course. Uh, go to course. Programming for everybody left parent getting started with Python right parent dash home. So once you are, once you are on the uh, course homepage, you will see the uh, navigation menu. Main landmark programming for everybody left parent get course navigation navigation landmark overview visited link. Which has the overview visited link week one. And uh, under the overview, you will find the every week uh, direct link so that if you want to go any of the week material you can access from here link week two link graphic calendar link week three visited link week four link week five link week six link week seven visited link grades so after the week links we have grade visited link discussion forums discussion forum link messages link resources and uh, resources link course info so now I am going to take you all in uh, week one and... Uh, uh, Bhargav, wait uh, yeah. uh, one more some... minute. Uh, yeah. So what Bhargav just now explained to you is a general feature of this particular MOOC platform. So if any course you take on this platform, we'll have this type of organization, just like in the university, how the classroom looks like. So this is on this MOOC platform, even if you go to another class where the content may not be accessible, that it is possible. But this platform will be uh, very similar in look. So once you get used to taking a class on this platform using one class, you can take other classes also uh, on this platform provided the content of the those meeting. classes are also accessible. But the framework, that's like the platform has this framework that on the, uh, for the visual person, if you want to visualize uh, this navigation, the course navigation that Bhargav just read, which is for your screen reader, which is on the top, uh, which is actually for a visual person, it's on the left side. And when you go through this course navigation, you will go, the first link is always overview. 
and then when you open that overview it will tell you the links to different weeks so inside every week whatever material that the course provider has chosen to provide that we will see that parga will take us then after overview there is a special grade page where your progress is recorded if you are a paid student that means if your work is graded most moocs nowadays is are not allowing uh, 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 those who are auditing the class auditing means you have access to some material and not the course assignment which will be graded so for you that grade page will not show any grade if you are auditing the class and then there is important part of this uh, mooc uh, platform is discussion forum now discussion forum bhargav will show you later i'm just telling you little bit about it that where you can ask questions related to every week material and also interact with other classmates from around the world remember i said there are thousands of people taking from around the world you can ask them questions or if you are confident you can even help them okay so that is where you can become a learner as well as teacher and you can participate and as you this is more with others you learn better okay your understanding will also improve when you help others so these are the three uh, main feature of this platform navigation so now go back the uh, bhargav will take you in the week 1 material and we'll show you little bit there and landmark program course navigation so again i am in course landmark and uh, i'm visited one link week 2 visited link week 1 so whenever any week will gets open and uh, so the first heading which you will found is main landmark this week to cast forum heading level 2 this week forum and uh, heading level 2 week 1 week 1 discuss and ask questions about week 1 dot uh, go to forum and from here also you can uh, I get access to discussion forum for this particular week and let's say below what information is available chapter 1 dash why we program question heading level 3 show more button pink cash has left welcome heading level 4 list with seven items solid check graphic video colon lecture video can car has left solid solid check graphic video colon lecture video colon welcome to class dash doctor dot chat to min visited link Okay, so uh, this is. So I think Bhargav will now. I will let him play the first uh, two minutes video, welcome video by the course professor, whom Bhargav just met two days ago. He is he is the world's most popular MOOC professor, and he wants to spread MOOC really to everybody. Okay, and he has started the movement, and we are all following him. And our this presentation is to add force to that movement. Okay, among all visually challenged who are dependent on screen reader, we want to popularize his course, you no, know, to everybody. Okay, and let let let's hear him, Pargo. Video calling. Yeah. Okay. Video colon. I Welcome want to, to class teachers around the world to take my materials, translate them, hey, remix Pardo? them. Re you want to miss our side to colon zero two from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. One colon. What the? One colon. Ah, uh, sorry. One colon. One colon. One colon. One colon. See, when we had, we had done I'll some. Take a programming class. Trial. Zero. So. <laughs> zero colon. Hello zero code, and zero. welcome to zero. Okay. Hello zero code, and welcome to my zero programming code, for everybody zero course code, Coursera. That's my name is Charles Sutter and I'm a clinical associate professor in the University of Michigan School of Information. I'm convinced that anyone can learn to program and I've built a course that introduces you to the basics of programming. You don't need to be a math expert. If you can add, subtract, multiply and divide numbers, you are ready to take this class. But I don't just want to teach you the Python programming language. I have a few other goals. First, I'd like to teach you how to take a programming class. 
There are lots of wonderful resources like Khan Academy and Code Academy and Code.org on the web that can teach you bits and pieces of programming. Perhaps you've even started to learn programming using Scratch or Minecraft. But learning on your own will only get you so far. And programming classes can be challenging. So I want you to develop skills in taking programming classes so that you can successfully take other courses like those from Rice University, the University of Washington, or others. My second goal is to teach you how to mentor others, to help them learn programming. Because if we're truly going to achieve programming for everybody, we need lots of mentors. Even in this class, you will learn a great deal from the other students and community teaching assistants. And one-to-one -one interaction is really important especially when learning complex skills like programming. My third goal is to give everyone a kit of free and open materials so that anyone who's a teacher can teach a version of this class locally. All the materials in this course are available under a Creative Commons license. The book is free, the PowerPoint files are free, the video and audio materials are free, and the auto grader that I use in class is also free. I provide you a link to our Open Michigan website where you can download all the materials for the class. I firmly believe that beginning classes need to be taught in one's native language, so I want to encourage teachers around the world to take my materials, translate them, remix them, and republish them with a Creative Commons license. I would like to see the textbook for the course also made available in many different languages as well. To sum this all up, I see programming for everybody as much more than a single class. I want this to become a movement that creates an expanding open ecosystem that brings us all closer together and helps us move towards a world where programming is truly for everybody. See you in class. Okay, so, speak, speak, no uh, talk. okay thank you, Bargo. This was a very nice yeah. introduction. Yeah. So uh, now I am going to, so probably in this week, uh, this, uh, especially for this, class in week one, week two, and week uh, three. So it's uh, just an uh, introduction and uh, the setup in the Python environment in your system. So that uh, week one, week two doesn't have uh, all the assignment and things like that. So I'm going to the another week and uh, actual class, which has assignment and quizzes and things like that. So again, I'm going to course navigation. Navigation landmark Chevron left and, to uh, week one button. I see here link the back, back, back to one. Button, back button to Chevron left back to week one. Programming for everybody left course navigation, navigation landmark overview visited okay, so link. Again, uh, under overview. Visited link week one, link week two, link, link week three, visited link week four. Bhargav. Uh, I, let me just uh, tell you in uh, short where Bhargav is going to take you now with the screen reader is in one of the week. Uh, we just saw an introductory uh, video on the week one. Now he will take you on week four where he will show you more what else is there each, every week that the video and how you play the video or listen to the transcript or download the transcript and how to do the assignment and submit the assignment and for grading and all those things. He is going to take you there now. Okay, go. Link week, uh, link week four. Main landmark this week to heading level two week four. Chapter 2 colon, variables and expressions, list with three items, solid check, graphic video colon, lecture 2.1 dash expressions, 13 min visited link. Visited link video colon. This video. Out of list navigation, video player reader, a swat hit. Navigation landmark visited link next item. Video out of toolbar video out of tool. Hello and welcome back to chapter yeah, okay. two. In this, we're going to dive a little more into depth on the, the atoms, the nuggets, the little pieces that make up Python. And then we're going to work through our first real program that has a sort of beginning, middle, and end. So, so here we go. 
a big X for constants. Uh, the nice thing about this, it's kind of like 123 or 98. There's both integer and floating point. They make a lot of sense to us. The kind of that are a little bit different are things like string is a string constant. Things to people that are using. We call them constants because they don't change constants. It's just a piece of the language. Else, variables and key thing other than constants are in that earlier lecture. These are like dog okay, Bhargav, I think class, I blah, 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 Dell, blah, blah. Yeah, so. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. Video here and uh, we don't want to end this uh, session with lots of blah blah blah. When you can go through this, and he's a wonderful professor. He teaches in a very very fun way, and you will get it when you take his class. And there are many different ways to take this class. You just listen to him and learn something. Imagine what he is talking. Sometimes even when he is showing things. He also explained in very metaphorical way that you can imagine what he is showing. Okay, so in uh, so he teaches in a very accessible way. You have to take the class to really experience it. Okay, so Bhargav, uh, now see right now because I think because of some bandwidth problem where Bhargav is now in Bangalore and we are all online probably the you no know, the transmission is not very seamless so bhargav you can go and show where one can read the transcript yeah yeah interactive transcript so level there four. is one heading interactive transcript and uh, after that you can navigate through down there of this combo box collapsed english button help us translate bang button zero colon zero nine to do not. So here you can uh, hear through your screen reader voice the whatever the same uh, video in Dr. Chuck has uh, spoke about. Uh, in this week's we're going to dive a little more in depth on the atoms, comma, uh, the nuggets, comma, the little pieces that make up Python dot. Uh, and then we we're going to work on our first real program. So after that. this transcript, you will find the downloads link for video and transcript. List with three items lecture video for link download video. Link subtitles that link lecture video for link subtitles left parent English right parent transcript left parent English right parent txt link download so trend. Transcript uh, link to download and uh, video as well. And uh, here, once you are in any of the week, uh, their navigation menu is slightly uh, different than the course homepage. Video player region. Going to the again navigation menu. Navigation landmark. Uh, collapse for list lessons. So it will so, say. Uh, so the only thing, let me just summarize what Bhargav talked about. And he showed you with the screen reader, you can access interactive transcript that is right below the video, right after the video. Or you can even download the entire video as well as the transcript if you want to uh, listen to it oh, wow. at your own time on video, your computer video, without video. internet. So you can oh, download it. Okay. And okay, go ahead. My video settings. Button start my video audio setting mute. Oh, somebody has on their screen reader. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I had to mute somebody. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, so now uh, once you are in the week, as I said, so now here is how it will say collapse bullet link lesson, and uh, which once you expand this, expanded this course colon, it will say the course name visited link programming for everybody left parent getting started with Python right parent. Link user has left the meeting. Visited link pro link previous so, item. So and uh, after that you have next and previous. Visited link like next. If you want to go to the next video, so just 
you can uh, click it here and uh, go for the next video or uh, any of the assignment and stuff like that list with four items uh, expanded lecture material so lecture material the first uh, category you will see List with three items solid check graphic video colon lecture 2.1 dash expressions 13 min visited so link. This already we have played little bit this video. Clock graphic video colon lecture 2.2 dash expressions part 220 min visited. Video. Clock graphic video colon lecture 2.3 dash expressions dash part 37 so min this link. This is a third uh, video link. Have a question question. Discuss this lecture in the week forums dot link. List with four items. Link video colon. Link, link to review colon chapter okay, two. Button. So now, after the course material, uh, we have here review expanded. I have just expanded through pressing by enter on it. List with one items visited link graphic solid check visited link quiz colon chapter okay. two. So here there is a quiz, and uh, let me show you how uh, we can attend that quiz. Programming for everybody left parent getting started with Python right parent dash chapter 2 bar course. Out of list, out of list, banner landmark menu button, sub menu, explore our catalog, quiz heading okay. level 3. So it's a quiz, uh, there is a heading and see below, below. Heading level 2, chapter 2. 10 questions. Your score. 100.00%. So, so already I have taken this quiz, uh, so it's showing my uh, grade here. But uh, there is, if anybody wants to take it again, so anyone can take take it again. We keep your eyes on your latest submission. So let me add. Uh, so on this platform on Coursera, for most of the classes, you do get uh, once you register and start the class, you have your own schedule. A deadline like every week you have to finish one week material and those it will also give you the date when you have to finish this quiz and for some reason you cannot finish on time then it will revise your schedule and so that you can continue with the class and sometimes if you fail the quiz you have opportunity to take that quiz again after studying little more and uh, till you pass. So you can, some courses allow you to take it once a week. Some allow you to take after eight hours again. Some allow you to take once a day. So it all changes, it depends on various different courses. So all these things are, it's very flexible. So if you are determined to learn you can learn and you can also solve pro problems at your own pace and uh, nothing is lost. Like whatever work that you have done before will always stay till you pass the class. And in order to finish the class, you have to pass every assignment. That's the rule. <laughs> and that also passing grades are almost 80% or 70% or more for every assignment. So you end up learning something really useful when you complete a class and earn a certificate so you can be proud of your learning you know, and what you earn so, and a certificate and something that you learn that you can apply in your real life, in your work, in your life, or anything that you do, okay? And, but whatever you do, and you earn your first certificate on MOOC, I guarantee, I guarantee that you will be inspired to take your next MOOC class, no? And you will never stop learning. And continuous learning is for everyone. If you have a job, you can still find a course that you want to learn. If you do not have a job, you still find a job a course you want to learn. You are a student, you can find a course of your interest. You, uh, and, and so learning is for everybody and we all can find something of our interest or develop new interest, you no, know, by taking classes on MOOC. Okay, Bhargav. Uh, I yeah. think you want to uh, quickly show the quiz and then assignment. Resume. Yeah. 
resume. Okay, so I'm going to resume, please. Question one. Chapter two, heading level one. Question one. So uh, it's uh, all the questions are in a heading. Uh, tag in heading, so you can jump between uh, one question to another question by just pressing by its heading history. Question two, grouping. Question two, heading level two. Question three, grouping. Question three, heading level two. Which of the following is a bad Python variable name? Question. So this is the f uh, third question and. Uh, and uh, let's see how screen reader is reading. Radio button not checked number spam. Radio button not checked spam line 23. Radio button not checked line spam. Radio button not checked spam 23. Question 4. Okay, so since Coursera has their owner code, I am not going to check here and uh, not going to share my answer. But uh, let me go uh, further down. Question 4 head. Question 5 grouping. Question 5 head. Quest, question 8 grouping. Question 9 group. Question 10 grouping. Question 10 heading level 2. So once you select the, all the your answer and after that. What does the Python comment? Along with your username, uh, you will see the one checkbox and it's asking you to ch uh, check that checkbox. And after that, uh, you will have submit button enable. Checkbox not checked in permanent failure of this course. Uh, learn more about Coursera TKS on the code. So I have not checked the checkbox and let's see how uh, submit button whether I'm getting or not. Uh, not available submit quiz. Okay, so it's unavailable for me. So I'm going to check uh, the owner code checkbox. I can't I see you checked. And again, I am going to see submit button. Learn more about Coursera TKS submit quiz button. Okay, so now it's enabled for me. So this is for everyone that uh, they need to uh, go through the same process to submit uh, quiz. Ah. Like toggle button, button space map. Learn more about Coursera ticket submit quiz button. Okay, so now I am going back uh, to quick and uh, Galaxy. I will show you how to take the assignment. Galaxy. Uh, chapter 2 head. Just a final word on what Bhargav just showed you that when you take this quiz assignment at the end you mark that you have observed the owner code that means the work that you are submitting is your own no that somebody else is not helping you to select the answers so but you are still free to discuss with others if something is not clear you can always ask questions on the discussion board or discuss if you are being mentored by somebody, you can discuss with your mentor, but discussion is fine, but not direct transfer of somebody else's work as your own work is not allowed, okay? You are, you are allowed to do the same assignment multiple times till you get it right, that is fine. But uh, no, you cannot uh, give somebody else your work to submit as your own so that they can earn their certificate very quickly. That's not allowed. And that's the honor code means honor code is you is it's your own conscience. And if somebody finds out that this person is copying other people's work, you know, they can remove your account from the Coursera platform. Uh, and many other MOOC platform will do the same. So that is what it means by honor code because at the end, you are going to earn a certificate by doing all these assignment and once they are graded. So you want that certificate to be representative of your achievement and not somebody else's. Okay? Okay, go ahead, Bhagav. No. Yeah. Question one. Back button. Okay, so again I am back and uh, no previous land, no next land. Button close. It's asking me really I want to close the quiz or not. Your progress has been saved. Not you sure you want to leave this quiz question. And uh, one thing I want to would like to add here: if you have selected a uh, couple of question and couple of them you have left it out uh, because uh, you want some uh, exercise to work on. So maybe it will uh, save automatically your uh, 
answer and whenever you will resume the quiz uh, you will see your answer there button a button leave navigation landmark button expand no next land banner landmark programming navigation landmark button expanded close lessons collapsed expand this source code visited link programming for link previous item visited link next item so let me use here next link and see whether i can get the assignment assignment 2.2 bar closer dash google chrome yeah, so it's open now the uh, assignment 2.2 Assignment 2.2 heading level 2. No next. You tick LL complete this item using the course tick S auto graders dot. Up past 100%. Separator space. No invent this course uses a third dash party tool comma. Assignment so 2. Point assign, uh, particular for this course, they are using a uh, third party tool where you need to enter your, uh, submit your uh, piece of Python's uh, code and uh, their. Uh, then automatically it will uh, credit out for you. We'll reference basic information like your name and Courser ID. Icom, Vagpasia Barga, Cuber Parsec, Icom, understand that. So again, checked. I need to check Courser owner code and. Uh, Learn more about Courser Tick S Honor Code. Open third dash party tool in new window button. So I open the third party tool in new window. So automatically the new window will get open and we'll see what details we are getting there. Untitled dash Google Chrome row one column one. Blank. py 4 e python navigation landmark link done. Okay. So. 2.2 write a program that uses input so to prompt. So here I have the uh, question that I need to work for this assignment and. Uh, edit multi line. Uh, below that I have edit box where I can uh, cut paste my code. So basically this uh, edit Galaxy box like. Uh, it's not really supporting with screen editor, so Galaxy. Uh, you can use any of the external uh, tool, like uh, even you can use Notepad, either Eclipse Lick, or Liclips, either which is most popular tool, uh, Visual Studio. And uh, after that, once your code is ready, you can just uh, paste here in this. Uh, no pre no next edit out of edit multi line space a box and then you have button reset code button check code button. code button so once you uh, active this uh, then uh, you will get the message whether you have any error or you have already uh, passed through the, for this uh, assignment navigation left 2.2 right Navigation land link done. So Bhargav just showed you uh, that you can write your program in separately on an accessible IDE or an accessible editor like Liclips or Eclipse or Visual Studio uh, or Notepad. Whenever I say accessible, I mean accessible to the screen reader. Okay, so once you write your program outside, for people who are sighted, they may be able to write small code right uh, on the code grader place and edit it there. But uh, for screen reader user, that's not possible. Okay, but you can cut and paste on this uh, code grader uh, for grading. Uh, so, but and it is that is a good idea because. Especially if you are doing this series, part one and two, he provides you the code grader uh, where you can edit. But later on, he does not provide you the code grader. You are expected to use your own IDE. So it is nice for those who are using screen reader, they are already used to using their own IDE from part one itself. So that is a good practice from the beginning. Okay. And so Bhargav, you can go back maybe to the discussion yeah. and you Link done. have chance Assignment to two. ask questions later once we end this. So you may have many questions. Okay. So, yeah. Extended close lessons. Collab button Chevron left back to week four. Programming for everybody left parent course navigation navigation landmark overview visited link. Okay, so before I go to the discussion, I'll, I'll to show you how to check the grade. 
Vis link week two. Link link vis link link week six. Link week seven. Visited link grades. Grades. Visited link discussion forum. Main landmark ninety nine. So here grade is showing or uh, once you hit the enter on the grid uh, grade link in under the main landmark uh, you can see your uh, score. Course main landmark ninety nine point two percent. Course grade. Do wait past grade. Heading level four chapter one colon. Why we program left paren continued right paren. List with one item solid check graphic quiz colon. Chapter one heading level. So as I said earlier, here on this platform, in order to pass the class, you have to pass each and every assignment. If you have passed seven out of eight, you don't pass the class. You have to do eight out of eight, okay? So here in this part one, you have 12 assignments. So you have to pass 12 out of 12 to uh, get your final uh, passing grade and also on the certificate. So... Ramakrishna Raju has joined the meeting. Okay. Okay. So, okay, now I will go through the discussion board where... Course navigation navigation. With, with link, 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 main landmark, course navigate, link resources, link messages, visited link discussion forums. Forum. Tab control, forums, tab, search edit blank, submit search button. Week 2 heading level 2, this week to cast discussion forums heading level 1. So this is discussion forum and... Uh... Forums visited link tab selected, all threads link tab. List with two items forum colon, general so discussion there are, uh, two categories, uh, you can see here general. Link, link, forum, colon, general discussion, last post, colon, a day ago, 345 threads. So it's giving the brief, uh, de brief details about the particular uh, thread. Link, forum, colon, meet and greet, last post, colon, 12 of Galaxy J7 Pro has left the meeting alert. And uh, the similar way, like, uh, Galaxy J that, uh, you have uh, each week list with uh, discussion uh, links so that you can access from here as well. Link forum colon, week two last post colon, a day ago 800. Link forum colon, week three last post colon, four days ago 297 threads. Yeah, so this is the way and uh, let me open the, any of the thread and how to create the new post. I will show you just quickly. Forum colon, week two last post colon, a day ago 800. Forum colon, list with two items forum colon, meet and greet last okay, post let colon. Let open the meet and greet. Link, link, forum, colon, meet and greet, last post, colon, visited. So meet and greet, it uh, means like uh, when you run this course, you can introduce yourself. List with 50 items, pinned thread, course navigation, heading level 2, main landmark, expand, search, mark, no next, new thread button. So there is new thread button. Create an Ajay Kumar boy. Title edit required title. Write a descriptive title. Blank. You can write your uh, title here related to your post. Thread body edit multi-line. Blank. The thread body you can give the uh, description whatever you want, wish to give. Or if you want to ask anything you can write it down here. And That's what he has left. That, uh, we have post button. Bold title button. Not for us what he cancel button. Two space blank. Button no invent post. Okay. So right now I have not written anything, so just I will press the cancel. To step button, no indent cancel. Button new thread. Course navigation, navigation landmark, visited link okay. grades. And uh, one more thing. Yeah, Pago, you finish that one more thing, then I will. Yeah. Visited link messages. Link so resources. So now we have, uh, after the discussion oh. board. Oh, okay, okay. So I, my comment was related to discussion board. Uh, okay. So as Bhargav actually just uh, showed you, uh, discussion board here is accessible. So you should use it, you no, know, and get to know your fellow classmates. Let others know who you are. Why are you taking this class? And what is your interest? And every week also there is a separate discussion forum where there are teaching staff, 
community mentors, all these people are monitoring all these forums. So if you post an answer, somebody will come up and start uh, responding to your answer or start discussing to you. This way you can also make new friends from around the world. So do try it out. Whenever, if ever you take such a class on MOOC, you should be, you know, also engage on discussion. You no, know? that is also equally important as taking the lecture and doing the assignment, discussing with your fellow classmate. And sometimes for some MOOCs, you find the discussion is too much inaccessible, where we have seen in, uh, happening, uh, you can form your own group wherever you are in your community and with your friends. You don't have to form a group with another person who is also non-sighted. You can have a lot of uh, people with various different abilities and discuss, you know, take classes. After this workshop is over, I hope if each one of you go out and tell at least two new friends, two new people whom you know who never have heard of MOOC before, you know, inspire them to take a MOOC class. So only two. So you are 22 of us right now because I, earlier we had 26. So people have already started getting bored and leaving this. <laughs> so, you know, if you inspire more people, you will have more friends to take class with you and explore with you and you will learn more. No. So learning by teaching and every teacher gets to learn even more. So Bhargav, I think uh, there is a resource section. Uh, you yeah. want to say quickly and then resources. go into introduction. Link, link resources. Okay, so I activated the resource. Main landmark book chapters and side downloads. So here basically left. the things like uh, you can get the same material in uh, which our class material have used. It's in PDF or presentation or any HTML format. Visited HTML book chapter link heading level two. Programming for e pdf link link. Yeah, so yeah, nothing else in uh, this section, just you can get the link to download in uh, different, download the books in PDF, either HTML or whichever you want. Uh, let me add one comment. If you listen to the professor in the first video, he says that you will get the slides in uh, uh, separately to download. And he mentioned PowerPoint, but now he is aware that currently PowerPoint is not accessible for the screen reader user. So in this resource section, he's not providing PowerPoint. Okay. He is providing HTML chapter as well as PDF and both these are accessible. And I would say if you want to really uh, get the most accessible code from in this choice, especially because it is programming, you can get the download the HTML chapter and where this will be kind of the most accessible. And the professor here is very much aware of uh, the fact that there are many students who may be taking his class who are dependent on various screen readers. So he will try to make sure that his class is accessible truly for everybody, okay? And so if you are just uh, new, very, very new to MOOC platform and want to learn programming, go for this class from University of Michigan, which says uh, programming for everybody or Python for everybody. Find it on the Coursera platform and join it and start exploring. Okay, Bhargav, uh, yeah. so are we done with this? Uh, for uh, the yeah, so we have done with the navigation for this class and uh, now we, we would uh, like to ask you, uh, I would uh, means everybody to introduce. So one by one can uh, introduce yourself in 30 minutes. And uh, after that, we maybe we can move on the Q&A section. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. Bhargav, uh, one minute before that introduction start, I will uh, at least show you because the video link that we cannot share, I would like everybody to see one very nice brief interview of uh, Bhargav and Balaji and Pranav meeting Dr. Chuck. Uh, who, uh, they met on 12th of December and Dr. Chuck took a little video which in the Polish form that will be published later, but we are going to as a kind of a celebration. And thank you to Bhargav for doing such a nice, inspiring presentation. And so we will play that uh, video, which is hardly two minutes, two, three minutes, but I think uh, it is worth playing at this time. Okay, Bhargav. So I will kind of uh, share my screen maybe. Uh, you yeah. unshare your screen. Yeah, I will turn. I will share my screen. Uh, Programming desktop meeting control meeting mute cop. Stop I, share button. Okay. I'm sure, I hope the voice comes out fine. Uh, so I am share computer sound and I will be sharing share computer sound and share. So Bhagav, you might be more expert than me, yeah. and uh, but uh, I'm trying. Uh, so let's see. I find uh, I'm sharing my screen. Ooh, where is that? Ooh, I hope I find. <laughs> okay, where is the video? Uh, Ram, final. Okay, band. Ah, Dr. Chuck's video. I'm going to show this video now. I hope you all can listen. What happened? Okay, I'm going to play a video of the interview that Dr. Chuck took of Balaji. Okay. It's the volume is very low. Uh, this is the highest. We are not getting proper voice. Uh, oh my God. Uh, this is the largest. Uh, Ma'am, at least I am not able to hear anything. Oh my God! So I will stop now. I'll stop. I have done. I am doing. Okay. So let's stop now. Then. Okay, guys. I stopped it because you are not able to hear. So I don't want to waste time here. Uh, someday we, Vision Aid will post this video when it is available in the final form and which you will be able to hear, no, you will be able to see it through Vision Aid's website and uh, in about a couple of weeks, probably in 2018. And there are some new videos of our Vision Aid students who met him today, he has taken. So you will get to see many more. So let's get to uh, personal, let's get to everyone first to give your introduction, who you are, uh, where you are located, and if you have any affiliation with Vision Aid, and also you have any experience with MOOC that you want to share, but try to be as brief, but as complete as possible. So four items you can share, your name, where you are uh, located, and uh, what uh, what is your affiliation with Vision Aid, or uh, and even if you are not affiliated with Vision Aid, where are you coming from, and uh, your interest in MOOC? In a sense, if you have taken MOOCs, do share some inspiring words, uh, inspiring or uh, caution or anything you want to share. Okay, so go ahead. I will uh, say from the beginning who are here. So uh, from my list, I will say the name. And now I have, uh, you can unmute yourself, unmute all. I'm going to unmute all. Hopefully that we don't get a lot of extra noise. 
So let me just get unmute. So okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to mute all, and I will unmute one person at a time. Okay. Okay. Let me do. Continue. Okay. I am going to. I have muted everybody now, including Bhargav. So I'm going to start. Okay. Oh, somebody else is coming. So okay, that person is now joining. So okay, the first person. Wow, this is Aditi. So I'm starting with Aditi. Unmute Aditi and say these four things: your name, where, vision aid affiliation, and your MOOC. Uh, anything you want to tell about your MOOC thing? Hi everyone, I'm Audible. Yes. Okay. My name is Aditi Shah, and I am currently a student at Georgia Tech um, in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I had done the Vision Aid Python programming class last year, um, last fall, um, and I have taken a lot of mocks, uh, close to like 15. Um, so I think mocks are really the best way to grow your skills, to uh, explore new new domains. Um, you know, like I, I, I am a software engineer and I have always been in technology, but MOOCs give me an opportunity to explore other areas like psychology or mindfulness or yoga. So I think uh, it's something which is very com convenient and a great way to learn. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Bhagabol. Yeah, in fact, uh, she is the one uh, vision student who met uh, Dr. Chuck's uh, first. Oh, yeah. Aditi met Dr. Chuck before any of you did. And, yeah. But at the same time, Dr. Chuck met all of you in India, and I haven't met you all yet. <laughs> no. yeah. So, okay, okay. So. let's mute Aditi. Thank you very much, Aditi, for coming and sharing. Now, let's see, Galaxy J7 Pro. Oh, who is Galaxy J7 Pro? Guy, uh, guy or uh, who is that? Galaxy J7 Pro? You want to say your name, where you are from, your vision aid affiliation and the MOOC related thing. No, it's a left the meeting, so we can move. No, Galaxy J7 4 is here, but anyway, it doesn't want to. So, unmute Ashwati. Ashwati, you can you say uh, unmute? Okay. Ashwati, I cannot unmute some. Uh -huh. oh, unmute? Hello? Yeah, Ashwati. Okay. Uh, hello? Yeah. Uh, myself, Ashwati. I'm from Kerala. Then uh, currently I'm doing BCA. I'm second year BCA now. Mm -hmm. Then uh, in which year I'm doing Python course. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ashwati. Okay, and uh, you can mute yourself. And let's go to Bharat. Bharat, unmute. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Uh, okay, my name is Bharat and uh, I am a third year B computer science student. Uh, I did the Vision 8 Python course uh, during the last summer and I have been a TA kind of ever since. And uh, as for MOOCs, I really love them because it's like in my college at least we don't uh, learn that many interesting stuff. So I have learned like basics of Android, Java, and then machine learning, deep learning, and stuff like this, all of this from uh, MOOCs. And I'm really grateful that I got a chance to, you know, uh, through Vision Aid, I got a chance to actually explore all of these platforms. Thank oh, you. Okay, so thank you very much, Bharat. And uh, uh, you can mute yourself. And let's see, Bhuvika, congratulations. She just on yesterday her first MOOC certificate and she met Dr. Chuck today. So it's a very special day for Bhuvika today and Bhuvika, share about you. 
Name, where are you? Vision aid, relation, and more. Uh, hello. Yeah, we can uh, hear you, Bhuvika. Yes, yes. Uh, hi, I am Bhuvika. Uh, I am from Bombay. Uh, I am a student of Vision Aid, and I have done. Uh, I have done a MOOC class uh, at this, and now currently I am doing Coursera. Uh, I have completed part one. Now I am going to start with part two, and uh, it is really fun and accessible. So it's really nice to. Okay, very very good. Thank you very much, Bhuvi. So Bhuvi is in eighth grade. Okay. So Galaxy J seven, are you ready? You are still there, but uh, you are. Uh, can I unmute you, or you can? But uh, you don't want to talk somehow. So let's go to the iPhone. Who is the iPhone? That person also doesn't want to talk. Uh, iPhone, can I unmute you? Because when do you know what? When you have a name like a phone company's name, you can change your name. That can be shown here. So we don't because there are many different Galaxy and iPhone and all kinds of phones. <laughs> and we are actually this is not a session to advertise the phones, uh, phone companies. Sorry and maybe, question. yeah, uh -huh. who is it? Uh, yeah, I think these people who are using mobile phones are not able to unmute themselves. Oh, completely. okay. Uh -huh. Let me try uh -huh. this. See, ah, let's see. You know, even I am not able to unmute. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> no oh, ma. So, uh, even, you know what? I am not able to unmute somehow. I'm trying. Uh, so let's see. iPhone, can I unmute you? You can unmute to everyone and uh, who is uh, we are able to let's hear. See. We can. Uh, no, actually, okay. when you I'm, unmute, uh, when we unmute, uh, we get a notification that you uh, are asking us to unmute. Ah, so yeah, probably. Unmute. I think uh, I was told that uh, those who are using mobile phone are not getting this notification somehow. It seems I did unmute all, but those whom I did not, probably they are on the mobile phone. You know, I have four people whom I cannot unmute for some reason. Yeah, so we can go for next. Uh, so who else is the next uh, unmuted person? Uh, there is an iPhone. Uh, you want to talk iPhone? <laughs> that person. Okay, uh, Pinav, then Pinav. Uh, Pinav wants to talk. Pranav, we are getting noise from your side. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Is this Pinav? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you talk? Uh... Oh, oh. See, we can't I... hear you. Again, we need one. Yeah, see. <laughs> see, when I unmuted everybody, this is what happens. Uh, so, okay, try, try for now, for now, Pino. Pino, Pino, Pino. Audio settings, but... Uh, Pino, you are, uh, let's see if we can hear you. Should can I mute you? everybody? Yeah, Pino, yeah. can you hear? Uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, one minute, one minute. Uh, mute everyone and uh, unmute uh, Pino. Uh, yeah, see? <laughs> mute everybody. <laughs> okay. And let's go to Pinav again. So my guess is what we found out right now through experimentation is that those who are on the phone, probably somehow I'm not able to unmute for some reason. So you will have to do it yourself or it's not possible for you. So Pinav, I, have I unmuted you? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, now you can talk. So, hi everyone, I'm Pina. Uh, I'm from Mumbai. Uh, today was a very good opportunity to meet Dr. Chuck, but unfortunately, I couldn't go. I was busy with my practicals. Uh, so, I am a first year law student from Siddharth Law College, Mumbai. Uh, and I'm currently 
doing a course with vision aid this year and uh, i have no experience about the mooc platform but uh, hearing this session i would definitely love to go ahead very thank nice uh, thank you very much uh, pinau yeah. okay now uh, who uh, who next uh, you know there is a way to raise hand if i want come to you uh, just call me <laughs> you know raise hand and uh, let's do the Le lenovo lenovo fab uh, <laughs> you join pretty late but uh, let's see where is that lenovo uh, hello ha uh, lenovo yeah hello yeah Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. That is okay. That is Nisha. Nisha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Say say so about you. So I joined. Okay. Okay. Sure. So. Nisha, I'm fourteen, and I'm a student at Vision Aid, and so I I'm about to like I have taken. part one of this course that uh part one of doctor chuck course and uh, uh, i almost have to complete it like there's only one more week left and then i get my certificate and for me it's been pretty easy to do it is pretty easy it's pretty fun and i have really enjoyed myself a lot learning like this so that's all i have Very good, thank you, Nisha. Okay, who? Lakshmi Sagar, unmute. Yeah. Okay. Lakshmi Sagar. Hi, ah, I was able to do that. Hello, okay, Lak go ahead, Lakshmi Sagar. So, yeah, this is Lakshmi Sagar. Can everyone hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Can. So I'm based in Bombay, and I'm a master student in economics these days, and. my affiliation with vision aid is as a student of python uh, for everyone okay and lakshmi sagar also recently completed his part 1 of the dr chuck's class and has earned the certificate so congratulations on your okay. most recent and hope you will continue learning more on yes definitely and hope to meet you all too Uh, yes. Okay, I'm going to mute you, Lakshmi Sagar. Okay, who now? Ah, uh, uh, ma'am, one minute. Yeah. There is somebody is uh, not muted themselves, and uh, we are getting kind of uh, background noise. Okay, this is Motorola One Power. Okay, I think that person. So see what happens when I mute all, and then you go ahead and unmute yourself. <laughs> Probably. uh then uh, let's see because motorola thing uh, person no you wanted to talk that's why you unmuted let me talk to you now motorola uh, madam madam power. madam sonal sonal madam jai chandran from chennai madam i am the person that motorola one person yeah. sorry okay okay okay, okay. Uh, okay. i am i am jai chandran from chennai okay, okay. i am short of vision aid and uh, i am uh, new to mooc actually i don't know okay. anything about mooc this is my first session actually that's all very good but so you okay. found this workshop okay. useful or yeah, yeah. It? it's nice nice actually i heard about this uh, but uh, i had tried but uh, i am i was unsuccessful at the time actually but i have uh, i am able to get a good idea about this uh, mooc in this class actually in this uh, program really yes. nice very good very good so that was the main purpose so okay let's uh, mute you Okay, who else? Who else? My young, my young, my young. Unmute, unmute. Uh, I'm trying to unmute my young. What? Ah, my young. Go ahead, my young. Hi, hi. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm my young. I'm working in as as an accessibility tester. I I am um located in Delhi, and um right now I'm a uh, doing the advanced technical uh, training program i just my my only experience with uh, mooc platforms is um edx course um um uh, a uh, dr eric grimson's um python course and i've only explored uh, edx but it's 
like mm. i found it fairly accessible um and um, would like to like, explore more courses like that so very nice um, so yeah. uh, congratulations uh, amayank uh, that you have completed the mit class uh, past uh, year uh, with the mentoring from istem so thank you istem for that too and mayank was a vision aid student he did not have a computer science background before but he still could finish complete the uh, uh, mit class which is much harder but the edx platform is also very accessible and the mit class is also accessible so if you want to go for little more challenging class you can take this class for learning python and compute in computer science uh, from mit on edx so we have shared some stories on this vision aid announcement of some of our students like aditi bhargav bharat ravi no and many many more have taken this mit class and they have successfully completed and have endorsed it as a totally accessible class okay so lenovo dan motorola one power uh, you already talked right jayachandran then yeah. pranav uh, saula oh pranav saula how can i forget you uh, okay pranav saula pranav ah uh, ha okay pranav oops oh go ahead pranav you want to say everything inside the print statement feel free to <laughs> but you will have to explain what it means because not everybody may know python okay pranav ah uh, why do you get on this thing is ha huh. wait wait uh, is pranav unmuted first let's check uh, yeah you are hello unmuted. hello hello oh. am i audible yes yes you are yeah. okay so i'm not going to use a print statement this time so hello uh, i am pranav uh, i stay in bangalore and uh, i'm currently studying in 7th grade in uh, head start educational academy uh, it's a school in bangalore so i am currently uh, doing the two semester uh, python course from visionaid i've got kind of little like little experience with moocs i've done uh, coursera i am uh, also starting a uh, khan academy which is accessible enough uh, and yeah and i really like moocs because they are a good way to learn uh, you don't need to go anywhere i mean some sometimes uh, to go to classes and stuff you need to like travel and uh, due to traffic and stuff you might get late and stuff so in moocs you don't need to do that even though some uh, sometimes there are like deadlines that you need to follow but it's a very good way to learn especially coursera it's a very accessible mooc thank you okay thank you very much for now but you don't have to go to take the classes but when the professor visits india you go far far distance to meet yeah. him yeah <laughs> yeah okay mute uh, mute you okay so that can happen that uh, one day i met uh, one of my teacher at the train station and i was so excited i said oh my god and i missed my train so and but uh, that was all worth it so let's just go because there are many of you yet left so let me go from the end gayatri this is she is not on mic at all so vijay kumar sen on mute go go on vijay kumar oh uh, you are again muted vijay no, he is trying to unmute oh okay uh, i am not able to probably this is one of that case where you are or uh, maybe on the yeah yeah we can hear you Yeah. Hi, Vijay. Yeah. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can. Go ahead. Hi, all. This is Vijay. Vijay Kumar from Bokaro, Jharkhand, mm -hmm. and uh, I am doing uh, Python programming programming course from Vision Ed, and mm -hmm. uh, I have not any 
experience about MOOCs. I would like to know about MOOCs more, and uh, I would I would like to do the course Coursera course MOOC. Okay. Very good, very good. Welcome and thank no, you very much. And hope, but, uh, uh, yeah. Ma'am, from beginning I d didn't join the session, uh, but I want to know the MOOCs. Uh, oh no, want to know the MOOCs more. How can oh. I know about it? Uh, uh, okay, uh, we will buy. You talk to Bhargav, I know, and we will connect separately, privately. We will have the uh, uh, this video recording. We will share that with you later. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, you can also stay tuned to the Vision Aid uh, WhatsApp group where we will post the link. No, some useful links. Okay. Okay. Take care. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Uh, mute. Uh, mute. Okay. There are many still. Gayatri is out. Vijay Kumar done. Sailesh. Sailesh. Uh, Ambaker. Sailesh. Uh, uh, Sailesh, uh, are you there? I think I'm not able to unmute Sailesh. Ah, ah, Sailesh is unmuted. Can you hear me? Yeah, Sailesh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, my name is <coughs> Sailesh Ambekar. Mm -hmm. uh, I am in Mumbai right now. I am a, a computer trainer over here mm -hmm. uh, since uh, three to four years. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as programming, I know C and uh, HTML uh, SQL Server uh, 2008. Mm -hmm. Python, I am a Python student uh, now, nowadays. Uh, Shobha Madam and Sudhir Sir are, are the mentors for me. Okay. Right. Yeah, one of my uh, colleague uh, Gopal had done this course uh, prior to me. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So actually, at this at the, that time also, I had a pet, but because we were working together. So two of us uh, uh, cannot do the same course. So uh, uh, I, I put Gopal ahead. Very nice. Thank and, yeah. okay. and it is actually inspiring uh, me uh, from seventh grade, from, from eighth grade students are uh, learning these kind of courses. It's very, very inspiring uh, for uh, our community actually. Yes, very good. Uh, so yeah, Pranav is seventh grade student and uh, we are, so that means everybody should take MOOC, no? And there is a MOOC for everyone and yeah, actually. for everybody, no? And even if you don't want to learn Python, you can take other MOOC and for uh, starting to learn Python, this is the right one. You can even take, uh, tell your friends Gopal to start taking a MOOC too. Yeah, now he nowadays he is busy with his uh, banking office. Okay. And that's why. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Sarish. you. Yeah, okay. Bye. Yeah. Let's see who else. Uh, uh, Sanchit. 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 Let's go to Sanchit. Uh, I'm trying to uh, unmute it. Sanchit. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah. So this is Sanchit from New Delhi and currently I am pursuing PhD from University of Delhi mm -hmm. and I initially applied for Vision Aid Python program but at the last moment I had to withdraw because of my PhD engagements so I am looking forward to this course for next year and as far as Coursera is concerned I used that platform when I was in college a few years back. So at that time it was not that accessible, but now when Bhargav showed us, uh, presented his presentation, so now it seems that it become more or less complete, uh, completely accessible. At least certain courses are there which are completely accessible. So looking forward to use this platform again. Thank you so much, so, Sanchit. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, try it out. Try other courses. You know, something that uh, of is of your interest. And wish you all the best. Okay, so Sanchit is done. See, uh, these these are not in one order. So I have to recognize who we have talked to. 
but there is this red me red me person uh, we haven't talked but you want to i'm trying to uh, um, unmute you you want to speak who you are because you are certainly not a phone just phone but the person behind this phone red me you want to talk no settings but mute currently a muted yeah. button hello. yeah hello, red, me? red me yeah yeah can, can you hear me yes yes we can hear you yeah i am farin begum okay. i stay in hyderabad uh, okay. i have completed my bcom now i am pursuing beard uh, i don't know about this uh, uh, mooc but uh, i am working as a employee in youth for jobs as a it trainer mm -hmm. so one of my friend has shared has shared me about this mooc so i am really interested in i have attended this session okay so you find found something useful that you will be yeah able... yeah i also interested in learning python very good very very good thank, thank you. you very much for sharing and uh, okay uh, let's see i don't want to forget any of you uh, that pinky pinky you spoke no no See not no. yet okay pinky yeah. Yeah. yeah okay pinky go ahead Pinky, Pinky, you are muted. Am I audible? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, <laughs> in unmute state, I was talking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So hi all, uh, Pinky here. I'm from Bangalore, and uh, I'm working in Cisco as an accessibility tester. And uh, I would like to thank Mayank for introducing me to this Vision 8 Python course. Then uh, from there, I got introduced to uh, Bhagav and Bhagav introduced me to this MOOC program as well. So it was, it was really like a new thing for me. Like I was like, oh, can we do this? Can we do this also? So it's really, and after seeing all the students, um, uh, so many students here uh, doing all these MOOC courses. It's really motivating that we should also take more courses and go about it. Very nice. Uh, thank you, Pinky, for sharing. And like, thank you. Uh, where is uh, Pinky? Uh, Pinky on. Uh, okay, I'm going. <laughs> there is one one iPhone. I don't know if we talked, uh, but I. Uh, I think you can unmute to Sharda. Sharda, okay. See, Bhagav, yeah, you may, now you remember whom we haven't done. Ah, Sarda, okay. Sarda, okay. Sarda, I'm not unable to unmute somehow. Huh. Hello, can you Sarda? hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's just a computer name. My name is Shankar. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Regarding myself, I'm I'm from Hyderabad. I'm in my fifth semester of Bcom Computers. Mm -hmm. um, because of my interest in programming language, I joined as uh, with the Vision Aid course for Python. Okay. Regarding MOOC courses, I know about them, but I haven't taken up any any course till now because uh, of my I mean academics. I I felt it it might be difficult to manage both, so. I'm planning to take them after my sixth semester. Okay, okay. good. Uh, um, uh, thank you very much for sharing and wish you all the best. Uh, you. you can also take a MOOC class at your own pace. So this should yeah. be also. Okay. And now okay. Bhargav, you guide me. Satish, no? Who else yeah. is left? Sandy? Think, uh, Satish. Yeah, Sandy. We can. Uh, Sandy? Sandy? No, it's still muted, Sandy. Yeah, I am unable to unmute Sandy somehow. Hello? Yeah, yeah, Sandy. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yeah. you can. Okay, actually, Sandy is my sister's name. I'm Gayatri. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I'm from Hyderabad. I completed my B.Tech okay. uh, from Computer Science and Engineering. Because okay. of some uh, problem, I was not able to do the programming. But okay. now I'm getting confidence that with the help of MOOCs and VisionNet, I can definitely do my uh, programming courses. So Very thank nice. you so much, uh, VisionNet and uh, Bhargav and all, all the VisionNet team. Thank you so much for providing such a wonderful opportunity for us. Thank you very much and wish you all the best. Okay, uh, who else? Bhargav, you guide me now. <laughs> Gayatri is out. Uh, so Vijay Kumar is done. Sailesh is done. Satish Kumar? Yeah, Satish Kumar is done. Done? No, no, we need to. Right, so Satish Kumar. Unmute. I'm trying to unmute you, Satish. Mute. Currently okay. unmuted. Button. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm Satish from Vishakhapatnam. Uh, currently, I'm learning Python in Vizinaid, in Vishakhapatnam. Uh, and I don't know about this uh, courser and all. Uh, now I came to know. Uh, uh, I hope that I learn this courses also with along the Python. Uh, I hope I hope I try my level best. Thank you. Okay. okay. Who else? Okay. Uh, I think almost we have. I think everybody is done now. Yeah. Whoever is present, because many have already left because people have got bored of uh, the, we have already exceeded the time. And I see that most all of you are VisionAid students. So I think the discussion we can keep to the VisionAid group now. Uh, unless you have a question that you want to ask uh, here to Bhargav or me, or uh, we can end because we have already exceeded uh, 30 minutes for this introduction now. So we should end, but uh, now I have lost my signal. Oh, where I go? So, okay, so anybody has any question right now that you want to ask? I'm going to stop here. Yeah, probably not. Nobody is, uh, you are on mute. So if you want to question, uh, question uh, you are muted. So if you have a question, you can unmute yourself and ask. Otherwise, we are going to end this session now. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, no? one question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, my uncle. I, um, so, um, have we I didn't, like I have heard a lot about EDX and uh, Coursera, but are there other more, uh, more platforms that um, students maybe uh, teachers that exp um and uh, I mean yeah that's that's what I wanted to know other than Coursera and ED EDX. Uh, you mean um, to say other than EDX and Coursera, there are any other MOOC platforms? Yes. Yes, I actually uh, no, say I, I, yeah. access to ones. Yeah, I uh, mean, that like, have is, we, uh, um, look at that. Uh, currently, uh, we don't know yet because not many of Vision Aid students, our students, have taken courses outside and successfully completed outside of Coursera and IDX. So currently, that is what we know. And if you find out, you find any other platform more accessible, doable do share with us. And just now Pranav mentioned something that mm -hmm. he's doing some classes on uh, Khan Academy. But my understanding was Khan Academy is also not uh, completely accessible, but we will talk to Pranav. Pranav, you want to say something about Khan Academy? Maybe he's not there anymore. So, okay. So, uh, yeah, you can check it out and Bhargav, you can tell him about uh, this yeah. Facebook group of accessible MOOCs. Yeah. Anybody finds a good accessible MOOC platform, please do share there. 
with others. So this is one purpose of this uh, workshop is that if we unite together and help each other to find more accessible courses on even accessible platform, even on the accessible platform, not all courses are yet accessible. Now, True. always when I'm talking about accessibility, it means uh, accessibility with the screen reader. Okay, so feel free to help us find more accessible courses Definitely. and more accessible platforms. Okay, anybody else has any question, comment or anything before we just end? Ma'am, just one question. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, this is Pinav. Okay, Pinav. Yeah, ma'am. The in the starting period when uh, uh, I guess Bhargav was showing the list of courses at that time, you mentioned uh, some uh, full-time course of masters. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where, if ever whoever completes, does it is recognized by any workplace or any yes. company? Yes. Yes, definitely. Why? Yes. Because this is online, so I just wanted to confirm. No, these these are very credible degrees. Now, when, if you are successfully, you complete a master's degree, it will be recognized by the company, uh, definitely. Okay. So these are uh, respectable uh, credentials, especially on all these MOOCs like EDX, mm -hmm. Coursera. And in fact, uh, the companies, if you have taken challenging classes, even the individual certificates are mm -hmm. also recognized that okay. uh, you have developed. But at the end, it also depends on the companies mm -hmm. uh, and they, that they can evaluate your skill. If you can apply what you learn, mm -hmm. then uh, and you can show them through your projects or something like that. So... Besides your degree, you should have some work to show that these are the project that I did while I earned this degree. So it would definitely be recognized and appreciated. But let me tell you one thing. This company Mahindra has <laughs> actually promised that anyone who earns the micro master's degree with a good grade on EDX, they will mm. get a chance to be interviewed in their company. Okay. So interview is guaranteed. That's what they have agreement. But of course, not a C grade, but you have to also work hard and do well and show something you know, out of your learning that you, what you gained. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, and, okay. Thank you. Very good question. So anybody else, let's, because most of whole, everybody is from Vision Aid. So yes. you can continue your discussion in the Vision Aid group then. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to end. Thank you very much for uh, all of you. And uh, start, if you haven't joined any MOOC, start today. Okay. Let's call it the Vision Aid MOOC day today, December 15th. <laughs> and let's see by next December 15th, we, we have a few hundred MOOC certificates for Vision Aid students and also doing good, getting good jobs based on you know, what yeah. you learn on MOOCs. Okay, and create community, talk to your friends, even sighted friends, you know, and learn with them. You know, it is possible you may have a lot of sighted friends who may not have heard about MOOCs. Tell not them ever. and learn with them. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to end my, uh, do you want to stop cloud recording? I'm going to stop the recording now.